everybody welcome to another ride along with goggles and uh here we are we're south of montrose up in the mountains uh at a namek site and uh yeah it looks pretty good we're um got these low load, load of uh wheels on here off 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 <laughs> what do you call it off-road wheels and tires loader tires i guess and a b double scs b double and the uh uh, Mac Cruise Liner from uh, ATS Custom Classics. It uh, should be pretty cool. We're heading up to uh, Bernal. Uh, Bernal, yeah. And it uh, should be a pretty good trip. And some scenic country and where we are, I'll show you on the map here because uh, in case you haven't never been in here, it's kind of a cool little dirt road in here to this site. Here's Montrose up here. And I can't remember the town right here. It starts with an O. But we'll go back through it <laughs> we'll see what it is and we're going on up through here grand junction up that windy road right here with all those little switchbacks in it and we'll hit rangely and we're going to head out of town to one of the uh, oil sites so that should be kind of cool and trips 248 miles and it's semi-urgent so we should uh, get on with it down for a bit. Listen to this motor. It's not ENDT. I don't know what's happened with my settings. It seems like all my uh, settings got set back to uh, simple parking and B-doubles. I came up here and Realized they just had me drive straight into that spot. Not that I really would very, <laughs> I don't really want to do hard parking in a site like this, but I checked and it was not enabled. So I had to, to enable it, you have to quit the game and go into the config under the profile, not the main config, and set uh, simple parking doubles from one to zero and uh, hopefully you know, we'll see what happens when we get to the oil site if they give us some hard parking or not because you know the last few times I wanted to do some hard parking and uh, I was kind of disappointed not to have it and we got that uh, oh where is it now that uh, chase view cam going here so we can look around Kind of cool. It's actually a pretty neat thing to have going through here. Oh, this thing doesn't have a Jake break. I guess I keep forgetting that. Pretty cool view. I really craned my neck to get it to look around there that time. I wonder why that was. Pretty easy when you're going straight. I like this rock overhang here. It's kind of a cool deal. Let's see if we're going to get schmucked by it or not. Oh, well, just going to go under it. Nice. Oh, it does have a Jake. Good. Starting to run away with us there a bit. Be able to save on the brakes. <laughs> the switch is acting up. <laughs> Man, there's just that one more thing I gotta do. Still having problems with my uh, 
design PC there. I'm uh, still off late loading data off of. Uh Uh, I was going to say I'm still offloading data off of that drive that's failing. It's just trickling off of it, but I'm getting it, so, you know, it's a huge uh, inconvenience, but so far I haven't lost anything, so, you know, knock on wood, I get it all off of there. But I mean, a three terabit drive that's not cooperating, it's ugly. So, as soon as I get everything I need off it. I'm actually going to try formatting it just for giggles, but I don't think that's a problem. And I'm also, uh, also at the same time, I'm transferring data from a, an old 500 gigabyte uh, SSD drive that I had an operating system on it. And I'm going to turn that drive into my skinning drive. I'm going to put Mod Studio 2 and my skin files on it, and that's it. That drive will be dedicated, and uh, as it's not a very heavily used SSD, I didn't use it for very long, so before I upgraded that one to a terabyte drive. So, there's light at the end of the tunnel, but it's a long, long tunnel. I can see where uh, Highway 160 is in Colorado. Uh, Slim was saying on Discord that they got like 60 some odd inches of snow over the last few days. That's hard to imagine. God set at 60, and uh, once again, finding it runs pretty good at 60. Oh, of that red light, maybe. Touchy brakes going on again. Uh, 160 right there. Oh man, that's a cool road too. Shoot, I was looking at it. Oh no, the job I was looking at went this way. Yeah, I like that drive through there. Darn. 
Missed it. Oh, a green truck. A load of green on it. And a green truck behind that. My word. All world's going to the Martians. Yeah, I like this cruise liner. It's a cool truck. Federalities on into uh, Grand Junction, I guess is next. I have to be careful when I pick the left lane because uh, the other end of Grand Junction got a left turn. I don't want to get caught out with those two guys behind me getting in an argument like they are now. One thing I noticed about this truck, the tachometer is way off. It's really a drag. I really like using the tachometer on the truck's dashboard instead of my little one down here on the tablet. Fat tire challenger. Those tires on there, I can't remember what they're called, but uh, that big bud, uh, uh, what is it, a 16 V72? It's huge. No, yeah, that's right, it's a 16 cylinder. It's uh, got dual tires like that. Guy's working his way on through a red light. Oh, just made it. 
I think we're going to have to go left up here. I'm dragged to get tucked in. Oh, that guy's turning. I don't have fisheye mirrors on this one. I can't remember if that's an option or I just didn't get them or the truck doesn't come with them. Man, those brakes. Sensitive. I should just uh, quickly turn them down a little bit. It's, I find uh, they're kind of going back and forth a little bit lately on the... Uh, you turn them down and then next thing you know you got to turn them up like it's kind of weird it just occurs to me we're running without voice nav fortunately i've been down this uh Road a lot of times this particular route. Not lately, not months and months, but uh, when I first got into the game, this is a real common uh, route for me. It's a Z mod, Z N D T six seventy six, I believe it is. So we're going fifteen hundred RPM, and the attack says we're doing twenty five hundred, which is kind of unfortunate. at this Jake, it's just one stage of Jake. <laughs> that could really use those fisheye mirrors. That's a use for the, like, you know, these longer trailers and the uh, turnpike doubles. You get used to the position or whatever if you got a truck that has a decent uh, fisheye mirror on it, you can get used to picking out what you need in it. Well, that guy's pretty sporty behind us. He caught up in no time. Guess I'm taking a while getting up to speed. He probably Trying to get a glimpse at him here. Where'd he go? Oh, he's okay. He's giving up the chase. Oh, shoot, I forgot to get fuel. What do I got? Uh, yeah, my thingy here isn't working. Hang on. Let's go to preferences and turn off uh, realistic fuel consumption. I hope it's on. Yeah. Uh, no. Goats truck, realistic fuel. Ooh. Then we'll have a quick look at the map, see if we have any fuel coming up. Oh my word. That looks bad. How far is that? 141 miles. I think you can get fuel delivered to you out on the road. Oops, get it back over here. My fuel gauge right there. Okay, well, let's try and stretch it out. I don't know why this thing isn't reading anything. Oh, I wonder if uh, what went on 
in there. There we go. Oh, it says I'm good for 153 miles. It's going now. Well, we'll try to uh, keep the revs down. What does it look like from this uh, camera here? The upside of this is we got a nice downhill on the other side of this climb. We uh, might be okay. I'm just looking at the uh, distance remaining and the distance to fuel. Or the fuel range and the distance remaining. And I think we're going to be all right. There we go. The old downhill going here. Look what we'll do. There's nobody coming. Oh, there's traffic ahead. up to these guys at a thousand RPM. Yeah, I don't know why I'm forgetting to look at the fuel gauge lately. Oh, what's up with that? Not a good way to be. Oops, just looking at the fuel, fuel calculations on the screen here. Oh, why is that guy slowing down so much? It's not going to help anybody out. Try to coast on in there, buddy. Play along with us. Yeehaw. Wow, that was cool. <laughs> At least uh, in the pretend world. our fuel stop isn't too far ahead now. Yeah. I think. How are we doing? Oh, I think we're going to be okay.
think when we get up to the main road up there, hopefully that's where the fuel was. It's not in this town. Look at these oil pump jacks running all over the place. This we got a 20 mile cushion on running out. Yeah, there's fuel up here. shouldn't be too bad. Get our rear trailer over here as far as we can. I think we're going to go for the wider slot in the middle. We have a better chance of not dragging it trailer over the pump. Okay, let's get it fueled up. I like this uh, fueling thing when you've got this uh, uh, sound uh, um, sound fixes. You hear the fuel going in and you'll hear all of the stuff up and the guy getting back in the truck, slamming the door, the keys jingle, seat belt. Listen. Goes a cap on the tank. Back in the seat belt. The keys. All right. <laughs> That's kind of cool. All right. Off we go. Oop, get a little lights on here. Yeah. Clear the pumps handily. Happier with the throttle now that we got fuel. Forty five miles to go. Oh, and we're speeding. Still trying to save fuel. Got myself into fuel conservation mode. Here we are, we're now. There's a pile of trucks in either lane. 
Oh, just stay in the right lane. Not too late to go back. Well, here's the potted plants. <coughs> yeah, it's, it's a nice way they do this town up though with all the flowers. And looks pretty good. Sure see that in a lot of the little prairie towns out here. The, you know, the local women's institute or whatever, they get together and, oops, oh shit, and uh, do the little beautification project on the uh, local town. Always looks really nice. It's always those same flowers that grow like weeds. I can't remember what they're called have to get over here. Must be turning left pretty soon. Now let's just go down to one lane. Not for a while. to go. This engine, when you uh, flip the throttle for the downshifts, it really reacts like it's almost too much. It's kind of weird. It's really snappy on that uh, on that flip. Oh well. I gotta do some more skins for this once I get my. Uh, well, I mean, I gotta ton of skins need doing, but once I get my uh, PC working right again, I'll uh, get back on it. Oh, yellow light, red light. Under 10 miles. one of these little dirt road things. turn around in here somewhere, but I don't know if there is. Well, let's see if we can do anything. Oh, that's not the worst it could be. I think we're going to drive up there and have a little look. Let's see. Let me think about it. I hope we can see anything with the chase cam. Like we could get turned around in there over in that corner. That would make it real easy. 
Oh, that's in for. Let's try. Oh, it's going to be nip and tuck in there. I wonder. Let's see. Oh, I think we better, maybe better turn around here. This might be the better option. Yeah, this is a better option for sure. There's room to maneuver here, so. Room for me to mess it up. So let's see how bad we can mess it up. Oh, I get that just right. Oh, I. Uh, yeah, I had it online and then I thought better of it and messed it up. Well, like I keep saying, like, the trick is to drive both trailers. And uh, you got to get your eyes flying around. Yeah, I didn't go far enough ahead. Let's try that again. I want to straighten this front one a little bit. Not too much. Yeah, I think I started to bring the front one out of it too soon. Yeah, darn. Oh well, we're getting it around the corner anyway. Yeah, that's a big difference with this in, in doing this with the the VW and ET, ETS, the European one, everything reacts so quickly. It's actually, you're sawing away like a crazy man, but you get her done. Okay. Just drag everything over here a little bit more. got that trailer in the right place now and behind on the front one jeez that's really really bad oh I'm doing the wrong thing pretty but we're gonna get it that'll do oh well sorry to put you through that lengthy <laughs> exhibition of not knowing what you're doing there we are <laughs> we got a full tank of fuel look at that 250 miles on the dot oh, that's pretty good Pretty good money for 250 miles. Sweet. And there we are with the old ATS Custom Classics Mac Cruise Liner. And uh, this skin is up on Steam. I'll put a link in there. Kind of like the way the front came out. Like it's trying to figure out what to do across those, the wipers and everything there, and then the Mac logo. I guess 
could have theoretically went under the wipers. But I thought, yeah, it looks kind of cool. Like it, I don't know. It's all right. It's different. Every one of the uh, old school cab overs is different on the front because every cab over is different. But the old school skid on the trucks, on the conventionals, pretty much the same on every truck. Other than, you know, you got to fit it to the cab. Anyway, enough of that. Uh, appreciate you guys following along, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Take care, and bye for now.